everyone, my name is Sabrina Melodius and welcome to my channel. In today's video we are doing a yarny chat. Yes, it is Wednesday the 17th of June. Can you believe it? We are mid-June already. Just absolutely crazy. And we are here to do a yarny chat video. So I have got my humongous list because I have quite a few things to talk about and show you. Look at it. There we are. We start with things and then we have different things we want to mention. There we are. <laughs> so we will be here for a little while. So for that grab your hot drink or your cold drink anyway the drink of your choice for me it's coffee in my wonderful mug and we will do a yarny chat yay mm, mm, mm. okay so we will start with things so there are not a lot of things to mention I think just two and uh, one of them is quite affecting me and uh, some people do ask me sometimes in email ask me news about my uncle and um, I don't want to say too much at this stage but I'm quite upset because he told me himself that his days are now counted his organs are star uh, um, started to shut down as well as his cancer advancing so it's really really not looking good and um, yeah it's a difficult time so let's just move on from there I don't want to get too upset for you guys at this point right so what else is new um, oh so uh, the packages that I have sent to the uh, USA and Canada they seem to have left the country they have arrived in America and Canada. They are sitting there doing nothing, but they have arrived. So since that has happened, I have moved. I went to the post office yesterday and I posted two packages out of six. Yes, so I still have four to, to post, but I started and I sent two. One to Kareen. Yay! so she should get it either today or tomorrow and Laurie look see that big pack that was over there next to that doll it's gone and that's because it's on its way to you so if I remember uh, later on I need to send you your tracking number or just email me and remind me and and then I will respond but uh, yeah so I'm excited and I hope you will enjoy everything that's in the, the, the package for you, Laurie. Yes, so we've mentioned them things and that's really good, isn't it? We've done things already. <laughs> Pretty cool. So, hmm. Christmas in July fairies. There are new fairies joining in every single day. It is super exciting. And already I can't wait to pick my winner, which will be next month on the 15th of July. And how exciting is it to find out who the grand winner will be? And just think of how many packages that person is going to receive, because I'm pretty sure that as we are as of today they are well over a hundred fairies so imagine receiving well over a hundred packages wow that will be amazing right amazing <laughs> okay we've discussed them two things shall we take them off things christmas in july yeah so i'm going to pause and we will start with the whips Okay, so I have quite a few whips to show you. First one is Patsy's. Yes, because she sent me some beautiful yarn and I started to work on something and I haven't um, advanced on it at all. And it's right here. So um, 
in fact I'm going to undo some of it I'm going to undo about that much there and I'm going to carry on with this as a comp as just a shawl okay so that'll be exciting and I think I'm going to work on it today yes I haven't worked on it for quite some time and I am itching to get back to it so there we are here's the first thing that I've shown you I love the yarn it's the twisted kind of yarn I forgot what it's called but it's amazing and look at the colors I love them they really work well together I think so oh I think the camera is playing off okay so the next item I'm going to show you is my work in progress for Dallas top and it's called the ladder of hope I love it so much and guess what guys I am the inspiration to her for this uh, project yes I inspired her to make this top it's just so amazing thank you so much Darla so uh, anyhow I haven't done much but here it is so far what do you think of it Darla do you like it here it is oh there this is how the colors are working I really really love it love it love it and I can't wait to be wearing it already yes so of course here are the yarns and I am enjoying this project so much and um, the tutorial of course is available and I will uh, link it in the description box below so click on it and and check it out it's a wonderful tutorial yes the ladder of hope really love it so that's done yay I do like to uh, take things as I go along just to make sure that I've done them yes 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 okay so next one is the fudget shawl <laughs> that's what it's called right so where is it okay so admittedly I have not done much and um, this is a project by uh, Debbie the Canadian crocheter and J hook crochet and I love it so this is the fudget shawl you do not do any you do not work with any patterns you just make it as you go along and I decided that I will use different stitches different techniques and different mm. colors as well so this is how it's looking and it's not big but I, I am taking a lot of time on it and I have made several mistakes and that's what's called a fudget because if you are making mistake you don't take it back you just say ah oh, fudget leave it right so here it is and I love all the techniques I've used different stitches and yeah I really am enjoying it and as I am going along I'm also using yarns that I have left over and that I'm not doing anything with so it's a good way to get rid of leftovers as well and this is just a shawl I'm going to wear at home anyway so it's okay I love it so far love it so much is there a project I don't think actually enjoy very rarely <laughs> So that's the fudget one, yes. Oh, and the next one is the cupcake. And this is by Angela, the crazy poppy lady. I highly recommend this tutorial. It is a whole lot of fun. And she has two different kind of tutorials for this cupcake. Either you can make a blanket or you can make um, a cushion. And that is your choice entirely. So I will show you my um, um, my cupcake. I'm itching to sneeze. <laughs> okay, but uh, I think I will be doing something else with my cupcake. And I already told Angela about it, and she she's okay with it. So there we are. Here's my cupcake. 
it is a C2C and it is so much fun. So I don't know if you can see it very well here. So what I might do is uh, I'm going to pause and I'm going to insert a picture of it here. So hopefully you will have seen a much better picture of it. It is such fun to make, honestly. Here it is again. And I will uh, link the tutorial in the description box below. Yes, and Angela is amazing. So go ahead. She really is a lot of fun. You Guaranteed you will enjoy her channel and her videos. So check her out, Angela. Yes. Okay, we've done that as well. I'm going quite fast today, aren't I? Okay, so next, uh, actually it is the last whip. I will show you one that I am really, really, really enjoying and I'm so proud of. It's actually a crochet along and it's called the Sacred Space. So I will link uh, where you can get the patterns from in the description box below. And the designer is amazing. She's done a sacred space and she's done some other blankets that you can uh, look into. They are just absolutely amazing. Her designs are just out of this world, seriously. So you need to check out um, sacred space. I have uh, completed week two out of nine. So there's a lot more to do and it is already quite big. So I'm going to show you my, uh, my work in progress, but I fear that I may not be able to show it all to you. So what I might do is insert a picture as well very soon. And this is really not for the faint hearted. You really need to know all your stitches and uh, be very patient, but it's a ton of fun and I am enjoying it tremendously. And I suspect that today I will I will start to work on week three. Yay! I love it so much. So here it is. There, there's a, been a lot of work involved already, as you can, you might be able to see. Look at all these different techniques and stitches. It is just absolutely amazing. Yeah, it is a lot of fun, for sure. If you like a big project and something like a nice challenge, I highly recommend this one. And this is week two. Can you see how big it is? Can you imagine how big it will be on week nine? There. Absolutely amazing, absolutely. I just cannot recommend this highly enough. So, uh... Yeah, as promised, uh, I will insert the picture here. Okay, so I have now two last things to show you, which I am super happy to show you and very, very proud, especially the last one. But the next one, I was sent some amazing yarn from Reggie and uh, let me see now um, the yarns that I used are yes I seem to have uh, misplaced them somehow where is it okay I am so sorry I need to pause Okay, so I am back and I am prepared for this next item that I want to show you. And I really, really love it. Reggie sent me some beautiful yarns and I was very curious to use it because it was... She sent me two skeins. Uh, let me see if I can find the things. I'll, I'll only get one out because they're both the same, just different colors. So... um. 
It was Katia Earth yarn and it's made from recyclable, recyclable uh, plastic bottles and polyesters, which is amazing. So I'll show you the thing. There we are. Katia Earth made from plastic bottles. It's just amazing. And uh, let's see if I can show you the details. There we are. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. Come on, focus. There. Nope. Okay, I'll just read it to you. That camera is really annoying every day. So uh, it's 52% um, wool and 45% polyester. And this goes a long way. So in what, uh, 50 gram balls each, and there's uh, two, uh, approximately 225 meters or 246 yards. And I was very surprised. I have made a lovely scarf, and I've used practically all of it, especially the one color. So it's like a cream color, and I've got, honestly, this is all I have left. This much. It wasn't quite enough for another uh, row. So I'm really happy I used it all. There it is. And the other one, which is a beautiful red, I do have a little bit left over. This much. So I am extremely surprised and in a very good way as to how much yarn there was in there. This, when you do a scarf, they always recommend that you make a, a scarf that is about your height. And this is about this much smaller than me. So it's almost a full size scarf. And here it is. This is my scarf. Isn't this beautiful? And I use the technique called uh, brioche knitting. So that means that uh, the two colors, so on one color, one color becomes the main uh, color, and the other color is the background. And on the other side, what was the background color on the other side, becomes the main one, and the main becomes the background. So on one side, cream is the main color. There it is. And on the other side, red is the main color. There. So let's see if I can show you both sides at the same time. So you can, you might be able to see the difference. Let's see. I'm going to put it around me and then I'll stand. So there we are. Can you see the differences now? This one is a... Uh, cream color is the main one and this one is the red which is the main one and oh I just love it and honestly it is about this much uh, short to me so it is a full size uh, uh, sh uh, short no and in fact yeah it's about that much shorter than me it is a fantastic scarf and it feels really nice to wear I just love it and it really is going to be my favorite scarf. Yes, this winter coming, I will be wearing that every single day like this. Oh my gosh, I just love it so much. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Look at that. I love it. It's looking good, right? So there we are. Thank you, Reggie, for this beautiful yarn. I enjoyed using it and experimenting with it and what a joy to work with so i'm so glad this is done and honestly it's about uh one meter 62 or something like that so yeah there we are and uh there is just one more item i want to show you and this is another finished ob object but my brand new tutorial which i'm extremely excited to show you and talk about. Okay, I 
and here we are in this wonderful segment where I am very proud and very happy to discuss my brand new tutorial, which is how to crochet the snowdrops blanket. And why is it called the snowdrops, you might be wondering. Because of the choice of yarn that I have used, it is very sparkly, very shimmery, that when you look at it, it looks like snow is on the ground and the, the sun is uh, reflecting on it and it shines. It's very, very shimmery. Yeah, and the yarn is this one. So I don't know if you can see how sparkly it is here. So I'm going to do my very best to show you the blanket, but I have a feeling that I'm not going to give it full justice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this blanket now. And then I will add a couple of pictures and a mini clip from the tutorial. I have cut it just a little bit, but it does show how shimmery this yarn is. So let's show you this wonderful uh, yarn blanket, how to crochet the snowdrops blanket. Yes, I'm excited. So here we are. It is very fun and very easy to make. So let's, without further ado, show it to you instead of just talking. Yak, yak, yak is very good, but you need to see it, right? Okay, so here is the blanket. It is very, very 3D. I, I, I really love the texture. I was choking there. I really love the texture and it is completely 3D and it is what is called um, the, waff the waffle stitch. I am choking still. <coughs> Excuse me. It is a waffle stitch, but look at the edging. This is such fun and they look like mini, bo uh, mini snowballs, right? So here it is, very 3D and textured. And you can't see how shimmery this is. Or can you? Can you see? Very, very shimmery and 3D. Can you see the texture of that? And whilst I'm at it, this is the right side. But the wrong side is also very nice too. This is the wrong side. Quite neat. And the edging are those. Look at those beautiful things. They're like little snowballs in by themselves. And this is so much fun. So I hope you will enjoy this fun tutorial. I really enjoyed it, all of it. So I might do a couple more blankets with different colors just to experiment and uh, just really love it. It really is really nice. You just need some DK and a 4.5 millimeter hook and a 4 millimeter hook as well. And so this tutorial is available now. I will link it in the description box below. And uh, right now, I'm going to pause, add a couple of pictures and a mini clip so you can see how shimmery it is. And I will be right back. And look how the yarn is. Uh, sparkly. Look at this. This is so lovely. I really, really love this yarn. So nice. And it really does look like there's some snow, right? Just like the snow, it is sparkly and just shines very, very nicely. Yes. So we're coming to the end of this video already, I know, and uh, I've got many more ideas uh, uh, in my head right now about some other designs, and uh, I think one of the, the next designs is going to be 
after my little granny, yes, because I wrote a list of people who um, who inspired me a lot in my life, and my little granny was one of these people, and I decided to design things after them. So I will be designing something a little bit different this time, but hopefully something that you will enjoy. And um, there we are. This is it. We are at the end of our yarn chat. I hope you have enjoyed it. And um, there we are. I really am looking forward to all your lovely comments. So feel free to post them and I will respond to everyone. And uh, hopefully next time I will, I will have a lot more things to show you and share with you. And uh, yeah, there we are. So thank you very much for watching and until next time, happy knitting and crochet everyone.